I want to remember who these people are and what they meant to me, what they mean to me. I'm, uh, I'm Ditto. Hey, yo, Ditto, you rock, rock the disco. disco. Hey, hey, look who's here. I'm back. The places that he took us was definitely, it wasn't like the crazy places, but like just the small, like little people that he knew. And if you're there enough, you know, like the locals, you know, you know, like the locals and who are there and they just come up in the middle of the set and they're acting like they, you know, they, they like they own the place, you know, and it's just, it was, it was awesome. A Bronx Tale was my story from the Bronx, you know, so this was kind of his story from Queens, a different era. But I understood that, you know, he had the music and the places where they used to go by the pool, and the places where they hung out and got high, so it was kind of like, just brought back memories. Hi! How loud is this freaking city? I should kill you. I'm gonna get you. I got you, baby. Next time I kill you, that's my word. I had a book called Picture Book of Saints, and I had a picture of a saint in a story, and a picture of a saint. So I, I, I had a picture of a, a kid I knew, Antonio. So I wrote this little thing about him. And I had a picture of someone else and I wrote a little thing. And was, all of a sudden it was like 50 pages. And I was like, wow. <laughs> when it got to 200, I worked with a guy at Tower Records who used to be, a, who, who got a job as a publisher. And I was like, hey, it's 200 pages. Isn't that a book supposed to be 200 pages? So luckily it, it, it got out. But it was a, it was a fun, fun process more. And some, something that you just, you just start doing. I don't know why, but you just do it because, because not because I thought I'd ever end up here. <laughs> In a million years, this is beyond, uh, you know, I wouldn't dream this far, but I just did it because I, I like, like to write. Hey, my friend just got shot, you don't know what's happening. You wanna go, then go! I just kinda knew this character. I just, I don't know, when I read it, I just said, I gotta do this. I, I locked into him, and I knew, I said, I found it so interesting how a father could love his son so much, but not show it. Me and Mike were going to California, and I want you to come. You're not going anywhere, Dito. You want uh, Italy? You go to Mulberry Street, Little Italy. Want to go to Puerto Rico? Go uptown. There's Puerto Ricans everywhere. Uh, right. I want to do something for once. I can't be here anymore. It's like a nightmare here. In the movie, this kid wants to get out really bad. It's not obvious why he wants to get out. I mean, yeah, some things go bad. But it, we, I guess we, we decided to tell the story from the perspective of the characters, Monty and Antonio. This is a beautiful place. Nothing goes wrong here. Everything's nice. And then this kid comes in. Um, from Scotland. He was supposed to be from Ireland, but being he's from Scotland, we just kept calling him Irish. But, uh, and he's supposed to be this terrible alarm clock that's waking you up, saying, hey, this, there's another world out there, and like, damn it, keep, keep, let us keep sleeping here. I'm getting out of here. Me and Mike, we're leaving. We're going to California. I'm you really remember? Gone. You told me, you said you wanted me to go with you. Yeah. We were going to go together, and... Yeah. What? What, what? You don't want me to go with you? No. I never wanted to try to be Antonio. I just kind of... It was so important to me just to get the relationship between Ditto and Antonio right. And the love that they have and like and what they went through and how they, you know, how the pain was when they were starting to pull away from each other. Do you hear me? I don't give a fuck. Antonio! I'm sorry, man. It's for, for people who don't know that there are people you meet in your life who are saints, even though they're not maybe good for you, they kind of take you to another place or force you to do something. So this is a guide to recognizing your saints. Listen to Dito, he knows when it's time to go. In the end, I left everything and everyone. But no one, no one has ever left me.